United Malayan Land is a big player in Johor and in Iskandar. It's got ongoing projects amounting to some 3 billion ringgit. Charlie Chia is the group CEO and he joins me now in the studio. I just want to set the tone here because you went into 2015 feeling fairly ambitious, looking at sales targets exceeding 1 billion, revenue coming in estimates below 600 million ringgit. How you set up then for 2016? Well, uh, we didn't do too badly in 2015 and uh, 2016 we are a little bit more cautious. We are a little bit concerned over the oversupply of apartments, but uh, we are quite confident over the landed properties as well as also the industrial properties. So 2016, we have actually geared ourselves towards uh, producing more affordable homes as well as also trying to uh, move into the industrial sector, which uh, seems to have a little bit of upside for the moment. So do you positively view the budget revision to enable more first time home buyers to buy into the under 300,000 category? Yes. Uh, basically, the uh, budget has actually allowed a lot of incentives and uh, we hope to be able to tap on it in order to sell uh, these products. But uh, on the other hand, uh, we have uh, what we call the affordable pricing, affordable prices for products that is below 500,000. Of course, in order to provide such a, uh, affordability, then we have to actually reduce much of the cost. Uh, we are looking into more new strategies in order to be, make it more cost effective. And at the same time, uh, we are actually looking into industrialized system. Okay. Yeah. So what kind of efficiencies then or uh, cost reduction strategies are you applying to make this happen? Uh, firstly, of course, I think it's the built up areas. I think at the moment now, if you provide uh, over, over, uh, overboard uh, some uh, what do you call the uh, floor areas, then it, it actually increased the cost. So we decided to go somewhere between 1,500 to 1,600 square feet because these are homes actually catering for first-time home buyers. And uh, probably as a starter home, they do not need that much space at this moment of time. So, but subsequently, when they want to actually upgrade, then you can actually look at the landlord size, which is still the same. It's either 20 by 65, 20 by 70. They can actually expand by then doing the, some renovations. So, and uh, if not, then they can actually upgrade to uh, bigger homes. All right. Considering another aspect of cost, labor, um, you're looking perhaps to look at China, Vietnam, and Thailand as sources of foreign workers. Mm -hmm. What do you think then regarding this levy hike? Well, it is definitely going to increase the pricing and uh, the costing of the, the whole production itself. And uh, because in the past also, we have been very, quite, very cautious over the high cost of labor and also the shortage of labor. So we are actually looking more into industrialized system to help actually reduce the reliance on labor, and uh, it is actually moving in the right direction. A lot of our new products now actually incorporate a lot of components which are actually industrialized and factory produced mm -hmm. and reassembled it onto the site. This actually re reduces the reliance on uh, foreign labor then you will reduce the cost. All right, so looking at efficiencies there. Now, taking a look at the uh, distribution of your earnings, 80% of that lies in Johor, primarily in JB. How are things progressing on the Iskandar front, for example, with the Johor Halal Park and UM City? Are you finding investors? Well, Johor, uh, Iskandar, Malaysia, actually has a little bit of hiccup last year due to the oversupply of apartments. But we are still very confident over the landed properties as well as also the industrial properties and hospitality uh, estates. And uh, we believe that uh, there is still a big uh, demand, especially from the overseas market. Mm -hmm. uh, reason is because our ringgit is low, and uh, Iskandar Malaysia is actually in close proximity to a very important metropolis called Singapore. And this has actually a very strong factor pulling uh, a lot of investors to actually buy their real estate. Reason. Uh, Iskandar Malaysia is still one of the cheapest in the whole region. All right, so given that, it's uh, considered cheaper given the Wicker Ringgit, the connectivity that will be online with the Singapore uh, KL High Speed Rail, for example. Um, what kind of investor appetite, as you, uh, as you um, kind of alluded to there, are you seeing? And where is it coming from? Japan, Korea? There is a lot of interest coming in from Japan. Uh, we realize that the Japanese are actually looking for places to retire. Uh, a lot of their pension funds they like to stretch a little bit longer and a little bit wider. And they find that in Iskandar is where you can actually have a lot of uh, uh, recreation, especially the golf courses are plenty. <laughs> At the same time, they enjoy a space of uh, what you call residences. In Japan, they actually live in very box-up uh, accommodation. And at the same time, they are very close to a metropolis. Mm -hmm. 
So they actually enjoy a metropolis and a luxury of space. Now, last yeah. question, Charlie. Earlier, you said you were going to be more cautious going into this year. So what sales target are you aspiring to? Well, currently, we are actually looking at almost trying to equal what we do last year, which is about a billion in our uh, revenue, as well as also profits, making about 160 million for the year. But uh, we are a little bit cautious at this moment of time, but our strategies must be right. Our products must be cost effective and price sensitive. And we hope that we'll be able to make it through the year. All right. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank and you. Uh, have a wonderful long weekend ahead. Thank you. That was Charlie Chia, Group CEO of UM Land.